Hello, I'm Tim. I'm the product manager at GitLab for the package stage, and I'm responsible for the package registry as well as the container registry. Today, I wanted to do a quick demo of a new feature that just launched on GitLab.com and will be available in the upcoming milestone 12.6, which is uh, scheduled for release on December 22nd, so 11 days from now. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And today, okay, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the Conan repository. This feature just launched. Um, if we look over the proposal, we could see that we wanted to provide documentation for configuring the Conan client to add GitLab to the remote list. Users needed the ability to authenticate using their personal access token. The ability to create and upload packages to the GitLab remote. And we need to be able to view those packages on, in the GitLab application. So I'm gonna try and do all those things today following the, the documentation. Uh, I have done this once before, and I'll say I have a couple of advantages. I'm not starting totally from scratch. One, I have Conan installed already. So if you don't have it installed and you wanna test out the feature, you could, you could check out Conan.io. The other thing I have installed is CMake, which is a compiler for C and C++. Um, you could use an, another uh, compiler. I'm using it because it's the example that the Conan docs gave. And speaking of which, I'm actually using their sort of base hello world application as uh, my C++ application that I'm gonna work with this demo. And then finally, um, I already created a personal access token and signed it into the, into the remote with it. Um, just because I recorded this video once before and I was frustrated that I let my personal access token be almost published to the world. So in this case, I already did it. Um, if you want to, if you need to create the personal access token, you could find that under um, your profile and settings. And then on settings, you just find this access tokens here. You can name it whatever you want. Um, you can call it Conan. You can set an expiration date. Um, so if you want, I could have done is just set the expiration date for tomorrow and not worried about it. Um, and then when it comes to scope, there's a few different options here. So you can select between uh, read registry, write repository. What we're looking for in order to update the Conan repository, you will need to set it to the scope to API. You create your token and this screen will change. Here, I actually will not do this, but if you, if you create your personal token here, it'll, uh, the screen will change and you'll be able to copy it um, without a problem. Okay, that's enough uh, disclaimers, I think. So what do I have? If I would go open up my code editor here, I have a simple hello world example. That includes uh, a readme that actually I've just, if it loads, um, just copied the uh, documentation for the Conan repository. I also included a, a git and ignore to ignore any files that are in these directories. Um, but what I want to do now is go to GitLab and I actually want to start a project on GitLab. So I can't get myself out of the way. There we go. So I'm going to click this new project button. Cool. This brings up a new screen. I'm going to call this project Conan the example. I really wanted to call it Conan the librarian, but it just, I thought it was too much. So here, okay, I could add my project description. I'll just say this is the Conan demo project. And then I have to choose here uh, the visibility level. So do I want this to be private or public? So for me, I wanna share this with my teammates. Also, the other advantage of making it a public project is you could take advantage of all of GitLab's gold features. So you get included with it, the Conan repository or the NPM registry or the Maven repository. I already have a readme, so I'm gonna skip that step. It's okay, I'm gonna create the project. Okay, project was successfully created. And then GitLab thankfully gives me all these helpful command line instructions. So 
What I want to do is open up my command line, says CD into the existing folder. So I'm already there actually. Just you could see it's the same files that I was referencing before. And so what I'm going to do is git init. It looks like it initialized the repository. I'll copy this next command because I'm making a lot of typos today. So this is just going to add the, the remote. And then we'll, I should have a bunch of files now, the same ones that I've been showing you that exist. There they are. I have no commits yet. They all need to be added. So I'm going to add them. Then I am going to commit my initial commit. Speaking of typos. Okay, and then I'm ready to push. This is probably going to prompt me for buttons. What happened? Oops, that's right. All these typos today. Just this is why I'm very thankful. Like GitLab has these simple commands that you can copy. Ah, okay, so now it's asked me for my SSH key. So I need to open up my password. Now. Okay, looks like it pushed. Let's see if I refresh this page. All right, I could see all those same files and looks like it did bring in uh, the readme with the Conan repository documentation. Okay, so the first step here, it says enabling the Conan repository. Um, let's see, navigate to your project settings, general permissions. Well, actually this is enabled by default. Um, unless your administrator has changed it, but for gitlab.com, it, it is automatically enabled. But if you wanted to do it, you would go to settings, general, let's see, permissions would come up here. Oh, sorry, I'll move slower. Um, and then here we see packages. So this will actually enable and disable the Conan repository or the other package uh, manager formats that we support. Okay, let's go back to, so it's enabled. Um, we talked about installing Conan, so, but the first thing we're gonna wanna do actually now is build a package. So here, um, that means I'm gonna have to interact with the Conan client. And the first step of this is to create a new recipe, which will take the command Conan new and with the package name and version. And it looks like we have a, an example uh, here, so this command will create a new package named hello with the version 0 0.1. Great, and so what that did is it saved uh, a new file, this is the, the Conan file, the CMake list, as well as a few items in, in the test package folder. So let's see if those got added here. Great, so here's the Conan file and you can see here the name and the version that was what we included in the Conan new command. It also has support for additional metadata like license or author or other information. The nice thing is the package registry user interface should bring all this information and present it um, in, the user, in the user interface. Okay, let's go back to our documentation. Okay, so we did Conan new. So next up, Conan create username channel. Ah, okay, this is confusing because Conan has the concept of username, but this is not your GitLab username. What this actually is, is the where you would put in your project path. Uh, and then the channel would be, it could be beta, it could be uh, release or master, whatever, whatever you would like to call it. But the tricky part here is that you have to put in the project path and it looks like we separate the path using a plus instead of a slash. The reason this is that we did this is because Conan um, 
requires that there's only one slash and it be between the username and channel. So that means that we have to translate the project path into, um, into pluses instead of slashes. Okay, so let's do, let's copy this example command here. I'm gonna do Conan create. Uh, I think we, I'm okay calling it, putting it in the beta channel, but instead of my, my group, we could take T Rizzy as the path. And then instead of slash, we'll do plus, and then Conan the example. Okay. That looks pretty good. Looks like it's working. It worked. Great. Uh, okay, so next up, we are going to add the GitLab package registry as a Conan remote. Okay, I'll warn you, I have already done this, but it, it doesn't hurt for me to run it. I'll just, it'll just create an error. So, so for this, you do Conan remote add, and you change it to whatever, whatever your instance is. If you're on gitlab.com, it would just, it would be exactly this. If you were gitlab um, at dot acme, you would do it that way. Okay, so this should fail. Cool, and I could have always done, pulled up my list of remotes here um, using the remote list, and I could see here that GitLab is listed. Okay. Next up, we're gonna authenticate. So like I mentioned earlier, I had already created the personal access token with the scope set to API. So next up, we want to add a Conan user to the GitLab remote. And this is the piece again that I have already done. So what you could do here is put in, copy this command and just substitute your GitLab username and your personal access token. Okay, I wanna get to building or uploading a package. Let's get to the fun part. Okay, so first upload a package. Um, it's telling me I have to create the package locally, uh, follow specific naming convention. I think I did all of those things. It tells me I need a personal access token. I've already done that. Okay, I can upload a package. So what I'm gonna do is Conan upload. But I have to correct this path. So what I really want is Rizzy slash Conan the example slash beta. Oh, oops. Oh, I put in slashes instead of the plus. So this should be T Rizzy plus Conan the example slash beta, which is the channel. And I should have just copied and pasted that from here. Okay, let's try that again. Please log in. Uh, okay, so it actually is asking me to put in my personal access token. Hide this. There we go, it's uploading. Looks like it's working. Looks like it worked. Let's see, if I go to my project, go to packages list. Look at that, there it is, hello. Just created just now. Um, now that I'm here, if I had multiple packages, I could sort um, by created date, name, or version. Um, I could see some metadata here, and if I click into it, I could see a bit more. So I could see the name and the version when it was created, this all looks about right. And then I could download uh, the associated files. So if I wanted to download, for example, the manifest, that's no problem. I can just open that. Great. 
Okay, one thing looks off about this user interface. It's not quite done. So I'll, we have another feature that's in progress right now. Uh, let's see. And this will actually just expand the metadata that we support. So when we looked in that Conan file, we saw the compiler information, for example, that'll be here. Uh, we'll also have this uh, settings, which will, let's see here, we can see it gets expanded. This will actually capture any of the key value pairs that you're putting into the settings in the Conan file. Um, so that'll be the, the change to the UI, and we expect that to launch in the coming weeks. Okay, well, coming back to our proposal for the MVC, we followed documentation for configuring the Conan client. Uh, we added GitLab as a remote repository. We authenticated using the GitLab personal access token. We created and uploaded a package to the GitLab remote, and we uh, viewed the package and downloaded the associated files from the user interface. That was great. <laughs> I hope you can check out this feature, uh, and if you have any feature requests, start a community contribution or open an issue and start the conversation. Um, thanks, and look forward to getting your thoughts on this.